And welcome back everyone to a wonderful map station and a blue room on the map that we just went through to get to this map station. After surviving that Terizo fight there with... That was pretty bad. I would suggest coming here maybe with a few more items. Energy tanks and such, but... If you're smarter than me, you can take them on with less than I have here. I just was not... I don't know why I was terrible at that. It's like, oh, I'm thinking of putting Fantoon everywhere. I'm gonna shock everything else. And... I think I want to go now to... One of these stranger... Places you will see... Drake on it. And it's... Very... Strange. It's not normally the place you would expect to find a shrimp. And there's something over here, isn't there? There's an item here somewhere. That I probably should have got earlier. Hit if I could. Yeah, I should have got this earlier. You could tell on the walls there's all those shadow things where it's like a bunch of tiling errors, but like I said, this shadow stuff is not easy to work with. And it's hard to see if you don't have smile on the highest brightness setting. Which I seem to be, well maybe my brother too, but no one really seems to like that brightness setting. Which seems silly because the game does not actually play at the brightness setting. It's just something to smile. And if it helps you see errors like that, why wouldn't you? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, this is not the lower Norfair entrance as we have already found that down the other elevator. This is the weird Norfair entrance. Because it's kind of hard to forget this. The whole thing is under lava, but not water. It's like a superheated meridia. This is meridia filled with lava. And somehow the shrimp does not fry in lava because you fight Dragon under lava. It's really, really strange. Like, are you serious? This makes sense? Then again, games always make sense, so... That's like, I guarantee the game's gonna make sense somehow. So yes, you absolutely want gravity suit for this. And those stinking meridia bugs, I don't like them. Rant, rant, you too. But this place isn't that bad, and it isn't that big a difficult either. Get rid of those dragons floating and lock, which makes more sense to just be floating around. But their movement patterns would be better if they were changed up a bit for just out in the open. And yes, we can head all the way down here. Get attacked by Novas. And attacked again, because there's an another power bomb over here. Um oh there we go. So it's a very useful item. What do you see up above? There was a hint for it because you could see the platform up there is empty space underneath it, so it's kind of like, hmm, maybe there's something beneath here. A very simple hint like that is very effective. And grapple beam does not. Oh, it does. Cool. Use grapple on all things. Because grapple's the best thing. I still like wave beam the best, but. For beams, but. 
people don't like grapple for some reason, and it's a mystery to me why. It's a, yeah, it's slightly different mechanics with it, but it's an extremely useful and powerful tool. Why wouldn't you like it? Who knows? What's this? Super missiles. There must be a super missile back there. Oh, get out. All these wonderful desk egas. And little flame spitty things. Those flames. I know I said this in Z Factor, and I should do this. Yes. You will move faster under lava without speed booster. Really weird game thing. I don't know whether it's a glitch, a little bug, or something like that. Ah, there's bubbles. Bubbles are good. But it, it's just really weird why that is. It's I don't know whether it's like the mock ball where it was actually programmed in. I want that power ball. It's just strange. Says you will move faster through here if you take speed booster off. Because they could have programmed it in there like that to prevent s charging shine sparks in certain areas, but I don't know what area they would want that for. Because there's not really much under lava you do. I mean, the biggest example I can think of is the entrance to lower Norfair in the original, and there's not room to charge a shine spark down there because the ground is uneven. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh, and look at that, an Eidor. I wonder what could be behind there. Seeing how I already spoiled the boss. There's super missile nerds in there. Of course there is. And we are actually not even getting super missiles yet. Shocking, I know, but... Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, yeah, you can't destroy these things. They're here for the long haul. And they really aren't that annoying, honestly. They're... The most they shoot is during this opening here. Because they don't do much while he's... Or she. I know a lot of people think Dragon's a she. And I have no idea. But they don't really do much otherwise. It is kind of unfortunate because that... Dra Dragon would be funner. Well, maybe not funner. Maybe it would be too too much. But those things were constantly firing at you. Oh, come on, you. Sorry, come here, you... Shroom... See, it should be frying, and I did not want grabbed. There is no way this thing should be alive. The big shrimp, it should not be here. Oh, geez. come on. There we go. You too. Oh yeah, all the little shrimps come by. It's very interesting. Oh, yeah, that is a weird dragon placement. Under lava. It's most unusual. And we get wave beam. Not super missiles. Just wave beam. However, wave beam does open up super missiles, I believe. Because if you remember that wave beam gate we came across. That, I believe, leads us to our first supers. Or what's supposed to be our first supers. I don't know if you can sequence break those like power bombs or not. And that's another thing where the statue... The statue room is... Kind of a pain sometimes. Because if I could get early powers without fighting Fantoon... I still end up having to go fight him anyway. I mean, that is a requirement to beating the game. Well, that isn't necessarily a bad thing. 
I mean, like on the player's first run, they're almost bound to find the bosses and defeat them. But then on playthroughs after that, having the option to do different things, like collect early powers, skip a boss, maybe collect early supers, skip another boss, and be able to beat it is preferred and good grief you're in a bad spot. Get out of here. You have a good name and all, but quit attacking me. So it's just it'd be nice just to have some more hacks. Like if you have the statue room, it doesn't have to be for the final area. Can hide the statue room away and put it guarding the screw attack or something. Or some bonus area that just has a lot of items. And which one do I want? Not sure here. That's back to the elevator. So we don't want that. I don't think so, anyway. So, yeah. So, no, I'm actually currently going through trying to figure out how to make my own hack more open-ended. And to an extent easier. Because while I do like some challenge and some hard stuff, that's... I would like it to be a little more open than what it is. Give the player some more options if they're really willing to discover stuff. And this is Ridley. Dragon was in Ridley, surprise, according to the map. Kind of silly. But oh well. And the birds are just wonderful. Like, hey, don't forget about us. So we're. We can squawk. There's something. Yeah, what do you know? It was something. Um, oh, it's, it's not. Or, okay. Interesting. Oh, here we go. This should make it easier. I should have done this in the first place. And all the way over here. Alright. Oh, key hunters. I don't like key hunters. They're, well, not the red ones anyway. The other ones are... Well, I don't like any key hunter. I'll take that back. Where is this item? There's an item. There is an item here. And there's obviously something up there. I think there's a yeah, speed boost. And crumble. Yeah, we'll get to that here. Oh. Well, this would be interesting. But yeah. I'm just trying to figure out how to make things more open-ended. may not necessarily be like sequence breaks or anything like that. But. And still, that's something I have to figure out do I want the player to be able to get sequence breaks and stuff like that um where is this stuff oh there we go it's a missile so it's all kinds of stuff like that as I'm thinking well how am I going to do this how do I want it done what kind of freedom do I want the player to have Stupid little fire thingy. I should have looked up your name. Come on. There we go. See if that works. There we go. That did not work. That was anti pro right there. Oh, no. Nope. I'm getting whatever's in there. I am going to grab this thing. It's not going to hide. Forever. 
Can you stop flaming me? Okay, let's try this again. If would help if I charged the shine's work. There we go. Much better. Okay, where are you hiding at? That was obviously. Oh, there we go. An energy tank. Definitely worth it. Any item's worth it, but an energy tank's kind of extra worth it or something. Because they're more valuable. Okay, well, I don't think we can really do much down here in Ridley right now. Because I, th I think we need super missiles to really advance in here. So we'll... I guess we'll find that out soon enough. And those birds are having a heyday with something. Like... Yeah, it's a woot or whatever you do. Okay, so... It's interesting. It's not on the map at all. And you got these wonderful dragons. And super missiles, of course. Well, that answered that. You know, interestingly enough, in case you were not aware, those dragons are actually two enemies. Same thing with the key hunters. Because they're on the dragons and the key hunters, the little wings on them that move are a separate enemy. But they're kind of the same thing, because there's only one enemy, but. It's the second enemy part that gives them that animation. Because you could have a key hunter flying around without wings, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, there's all kinds of interesting stuff you figure out. Or see when looking and smile and figure out what in the world they made in the first place. So let's get... Somewhere else. I need to get back to that wave beam gate. And yep. These little desk is everywhere. Again, I still do not understand how they defy gravity. The ceiling side hoppers and desk egas. How does that work? They're pushing off the ceiling and then falling down toward it. It's like gravity has the opposite effect on them. Which means if they ever get out into... They would have to live in caves and stuff because... Otherwise they would just float off into space. So this makes no sense to me. How do they do that? And actually, I didn't want to fall down here. Oh, good grief. This is actually a good place to leave it off. So thanks for watching, and we will see you for the next video where we hunt down super missiles.